Welcome to 24 Willie Mays Plaza, the home of the Giants and Oracle Park. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Kansas City Royals taking on the San Francisco Giants. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. So the San Francisco Giants have taken the first two games of this series, and today they'll go for the sweep. They played well, Chris, and they're looking for more of the same in this one. Yeah, they've been the side shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins, as you said, but every game offers up its own unique challenges. So we'll see what those are today, but there's always a little extra motivation when you have an opportunity to sweep a series. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Coming up on the first pitch and on the mound in this one, Madison Bumgarner. He's racked up over 2,000 strikeouts in his career. He's such a competitor out in the mound. So fun to watch him work. I'm excited for this one. Ready to go. And to the plate for Kansas, Kansas City, Buck O'Neill. The first baseman, Buck O'Neill. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Estrada makes his way towards it. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's one down. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. A tough challenge in this one. An excellent arm on the mound. Singy, they're going to have to capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, and they're not going to get a whole lot if he pitches the way that he's capable of pitching. So, you know, be ready to swing from the first pitch. You get something straight, man, you better turn on it. And here is Alex Gordon. Hitless of the first two games of the series. He's 0 for 8. One down, base is empty. And now the count, 1 and 2 after the swing and the miss. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Liner, base hit. Batting third, the third base is number five. Now the third baseman, George Brett. Two for nine so far in the series. The next pitch misses. It's two and two. Runner takes going. off. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. And that chance handled by Willie Mays. Two away now. That is it. The designated hitter. Martin Digo. Martin Digo digging in now. Hitless in the series. He's 0 for 9. You talk about the power and the speed together. Oh, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. 2 1 now. And a swing and a miss there. Man, that was pretty gross right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Thompson underneath it. And that will end the inning. Royals leave one. And now we'll see what the Giants can do. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in San Francisco. And on the mound today, Jordan Lyles. 
Well, it's no secret he's had his struggles at the big league level. Career ERA over five. But today's a new day. He's going to take the baseball, Leading go out up, there and compete. I can't wait to watch. The right hey, Thompson steps into the box. Singing. He's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. And that one wrapped foul. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. But he found a way to just get it by him. The other way. O'Neill over to first. And here this afternoon, too quickly away in the bottom of first. Now we take a peek at the Giants lineup. It features a great veteran presence, Willie McCovey. Yeah, Boog, a member of the 500 home run club. I mean, you know, I fell just short of that myself, but uh, you know the story. It, it's an exclusive list, and, you know, of all the, the most feared hitters, I mean, this guy is right there at the top. He loves going deep. He loves trotting around the bases, and you know what? I love watching him do it. He's got so much swag. Let's see if he's got something for us in this one. The next offering misses at a count two and one. pitch and nope. that's too high three balls one strike the right hander gives four. up the two out walk you know I think he's okay with that outcome that it is. wasn't an intentional walk but base, base, he wasn't exactly trying Willie. to attack the zone either Mark. Willie okay. McCovey the next giant to hit the pitch fouls it off still one and two and the right hander deals cuts and misses it's a strikeout so the Giants leave one we played an inning no score And welcome back. New inning getting started. So up now for Kansas City, Salvador Perez. Not only can he hit the cover off the ball, he's got a great eye as well. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Good eye right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. Got it by him for the K. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had a fool. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr., no hits in the shutout yesterday afternoon. That's off the mark, and it's two and one. The wind of the pitch. That's in there. It's two and two. inside and it hit him he had two strikes on him and he hit him you know the best way to forget about the pain is inflicting some pain and working your way around the bases and touching home plate is a way to stick it to that other team at the play michael massey started to go at the one two a check on it to third didn't go 
moved to first. Throws it away! Bounce to third. And it's through for a hit. Here comes Witt around third. He scores, and it's 1-0. Picks himself up in RBI. Not, not, not. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Drew Waters stands in. A switch hitter batting right. Up the middle, Estrada. They take the force out. That's the third out. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a one nothing ball game. Back after this on the show. Bottom of the second. And digging in for San Francisco, Orlando Cepeda. Orlando. One one. That one missed. Fouls one off. Two and two. Right hander kicks deals. And now the count filled up three and two. The wind of the pitch. In the air, out towards left center. Gordon hauls it in, and there's one away. That exists. The second, the second baseman. baseman. Tyro. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Two for eight in the series so far. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. And he grounds one to the right side. On to O'Neill. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit. Rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. Now it's J.D. Davis. Here's a 1-1. This one high in the air to left center. Gordon, long run into the gap. Stretches out and hauls it in. Giants are down 1-2-3. They're down 1-0. All set for the start of the inning. Buck O'Neill digging in now. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate, and there's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Yeah, the batter now, Alex Gordon. And another ball. O'Neill on at first. Nobody out. Next one misses. 
And the count is filled up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Left hand hitter waits. And he walked him. Oh, now he's got two runners on after that walk. And things can get out of hand in a hurry in these situations. So he's going to have to find a way to get back into the strike zone. George Brett steps in for the Royals. 0 for 1 so far. That one misses. Two balls, two strikes. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at 2 and 2. Such a better feeling for the hitter. 2-2. Two -two. In the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. And now the lefty gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And he deals. And there's ball four. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boone. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Here's Martin Digo stepping into the box. 0 for 1, he flat out to right this first trip. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Well, this is a tough situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset is just try to get out one hitter at a time. In the air, left field down the line. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. That's ripped into the outfield. He can't get there. It's a base hit. One runs in. A second scores as well. And they're up by three. Oh, a huge two RBI swing of the bat right there. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. First and second. No outs. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And the pitch. Double steal. That one the other way, and it goes just foul. It looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the... To first, and they get Perez for the out. The right field, number one, and Jay. MJ Melendez getting ready to hit struck out swinging his first time laboring here about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning One ball. in the dirt nice job behind the plate there the pitch goes down swinging for the strikeout Slider got him for strike three. Oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. And he swings over the top there. Well, it stinks to be down by, you know, these runs early in this ballgame like this. But you've got two outs. You've got to close the door because you still have a chance with how much time is left in this one. The one-two. Goes down looking. So two runs in the inning on two base hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Royals three and the Giants nothing. Back here at Oracle Park, we except for the bottom of the third, here's Brandon Crawford. Brandon. He's hitting for that pop. Crawford. Came out of the gates really strong. Kicks and fires. 
And now two balls and a strike. And there's the strike. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Why to kick the pitch? Out to short. Witt over to oh. first. And Crawford is set down. Batting on the catch. Blake Sable. So up next, Blake Sable. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed but he does right side Massey in plenty of time to first two up two down now that the white, white field. Field. Hey. Hey. Thompson. so the lineup flips over now it's the right fielder Hank Thompson let off the game with a strikeout the one 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 ball, two strikes. Now a screamer into the outfield. And an automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. So, man aboard, Monty Irvin digs in now. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. That one finds the corner. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And that is that. One left for San Francisco. They trail in this one. Three nothing. Back here at the ballpark, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Michael Massey. Massey. The 1 1. And that one fouled off. Boots it. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first out. The center field. And next up for the Royals, Water. Drew Waters. He's 0 for 1. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, that high four-seam fastball has become such a staple as a strikeout pitch over the years. And what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well. The problem is the velocity and spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone. You don't stay tall on the backside. And you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop-up. Next offering is in for a strike. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Battling here as he fouls it away. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Rips one to right. And Thompson makes the play. And that's the third out. Nothing doing for the Royals, but they lead it 3 nothing.
ready to go for the last Lee half of the go. inning. Now it's the power speed combo. Willie Mays. Really? You're talking about elite defensive players, yeah. especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. That hits the dirt two and one. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. The two two on the way. Popped up. Dunks one into left. Dominant performance for him today. Really? Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. And yeah, the batter now, Willie McCovey, went down on strikes his first time through. McCovey checks his swing. Appeal down to third. Nope, he held back. Two two now. Hoog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way. And this is what this guy does. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That ball was drilled. 106 off the bat. And that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. Next will be the Giants' DH. Orlando Cepeda. He's 0 for 1. And a 3-1 on the way. Out front, Rip Val. When you look at the ability to save runs defensively, but then also put runs up on the scoreboard, that's the kind of player that every championship team needs to have. And they're all loaded up. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Here's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. The one, two. Sets him down on strikes. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. Now it's J.D. Davis. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Here's a 1-1. And it's fouled away. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. The pitch. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Mays, the runner at third. McCovey on second. Cepeda at first. One gone. This to center field. Waters on the move. Makes the grab on the run. And there are two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at-bat. Crawford. Here's Crawford now. Open stance on that left side. Grounded out his first time up. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Base is loaded. Two down. Whoa. Pitch misses there. And it's two and one. Boog, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side.
Choo-choo now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Pitch misses. Full count now. Ball four. He's walked in a run. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. Blake Sable, the next giant to hit. Grounded out his first time. Two outs. Bases are full. Next offering is in for a strike. And the one two misses to even the count. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. At the belt and fires. Now fly ball to right center. Waters on the move to his left. Drops into the glove. And that'll do it. So they get one but end up leaving the bases loaded. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Royals three and the Giants one. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now the number two hitter, Alex Gordon. That one fouled off, two and two. <laughs> Got him swinging. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, yeah, pitcher yeah, and catcher yeah. on the same the page right now. George. And to the plate for Kansas Brett, City, Brett. George Brett. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. And one and two. Yeah, his Four swing ball. is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. In the dirt. Gets it to first. Oh. Brett out on the play. Now that designated Two hitter. outs, base is empty. Martin Here's the Royals Digo. designated hitter, Martin Digo. One for two. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as plus value? Absolutely. If he's doing damage now, if he's rolling over and, and grounding out, then it's a different story. But yeah, if he can put the. Got him. And it's a three up, three down inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the right fielder, Hank Thompson. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Now the left fielder, no, 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 Monty no, 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 no. Possibly no, thinking no, no. about home run number 100 here. He's just one shy of that milestone. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. And a pinch. Swing and a miss as he was late.
Rudder at first with no outs here. Got him looking. And one gone. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And as a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Manager out of the dugout now. And it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Jordan Lyles will depart. Two-run ball game as he heads for the dugout. And we'll be back with a new pitcher. So the Royals bring on a new arm, Brad Keller. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And up next for the Giants, Willie Mays. This guy with big-time power and an elite defender. And now two and one. Yeah, and I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Thompson stands at first with one out. Ball Next three. offering misses. Ball three. And there's a foul ball. Three two now. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Payoff pitch. Roll to short could be two. Wit over to second. On to O'Neill for the inning ending double play. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We're through five. It's the Royals three and the Giants one. New pitcher coming on, the veteran, Anthony DiSclafani. This is his third time out this year. Anthony. So up now for Kansas City, Salvador Perez. He might just be the best hitting catcher in the game today. Well, Boog, he's so valuable, does a good job behind the plate, but offensively, he's a middle-of-the-order type of bat, especially when you talk about catchers, and their number one job is to handle the pitching staff and prevent runs. This guy is able to add runs by producing them. Makes the grab one away. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. And next up for the Royals, MJ Melendez, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And here it comes. And a 2 1 hammered, but foul. Righty to the plate. And now it's filled up. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Taylor Rogers, the left hander, up and throwing. Rogers, the right hander, loosening up as well. That one down the line, and that's just foul. This to third. Davis with the He's throw down. to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Now bad out. The short shot. Bobby. Two Witt outs, base is empty. And the batter will be the shortstop. Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Jr., a second generation big leaguer. His dad won 142 games in the show. The Royals made Bobby Jr. the number two overall pick in the 2019 draft right after Adley Rutschman and he made his debut in 2022 finished behind Julio Rodriguez Rutschman and Stephen Kwan for rookie of the year great crop of rookies 
And a weak ground ball to the left side. Fires across the diamond, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. To the bottom of the six we go, 4-5-6 coming up. It's the Royals three, and the Giants one. And welcome back. Well, we go bottom six, and here's the first baseman, the first base Willie base. McCovey. Willie McCovey. That one in for a strike, two and two. Well, these Giants putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. And that one finds its way through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Up next, next guy, the designated hitter. Now it's going to be Orlando Cepeda. This guy has turned into a beast. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. And a swing and a miss. One gone here. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. So digging in, Tyro Estrada. Swing and a miss. One and two. The one, two. Oh, that's off the plate. McCovey leads off first with one away. Next pitch, not close, up high. J.D. Davis on deck for San Francisco. Kicks and deals. And ball four to a board. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. And up next for San Francisco, J.D. Davis. One out. Runners at first and second. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way. New pitcher in the game for the Royals, Amir Garrett, hasn't pitched in the last three days. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Hammer down the line. Should be extra bases. One runs in. Now the second run is in. Davis, rounds third, headed for the plate. Play at the plate, got him! The base runner did a great job of making that a close play at the plate with an excellent slide. Made the catcher work to get out there and put down the tag. The throw was on the money, and that's what made the difference. Big time play to cut down a run. Blake Sable, the next giant to hit. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going.
One and two here. And now two and two. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Swing and a miss. And that is that. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Top of inning number seven. Head to the plate for Kansas City, Michael Massey. One one now. There's a swing and a miss. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. The one two. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. And it hits the fence. Thompson gets it back in quickly. Go ahead, run into scoring position as he stops at second. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. Go ahead, run on base. So up now for Kansas City, Drew Waters. And the righty deals. That's a little bit low. Strike two. On the ground. And it's just foul. That was close. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And there's one down. The first base is number 22. So the Royals batting order turns over. Buck O'Neill steps in for the Royals. One for three. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. That's off the mark. Now two balls and a strike. Swings through that. Righty delivers. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a pitch. That one missing inside. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. That's hard hit in the line. And Thompson makes the play. And there's two down. Alex Gordon steps in for the Royals. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. Foul ball. We'll see another payoff pitch. Two down. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Runner leads away at second. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. 
So one left for Kansas City. Score remains tied at three. So the Royals bring on a new arm, Josh Stamont. He last pitched two days ago. Number 63, Josh Stamont. Back to the leadoff spot in the Giants lineup. Here's Thompson to hit now. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Looked like it was a little bit up. in for a strike. I got three and two. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. He was all over that one. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hitting pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Monty Irvin now at the plate. Here comes a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And here's a 3-2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Ripped into left center for a base hit. Couple of singles back to back. Great hands on that swing. Took the barrel right to the baseball. Caught it out front and ripped it into the gap. At that point, there's probably no question in his mind that he was going for two. That's just a great feeling. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. And now it's going to be Willie Mays. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. Just misses with that one. Activity in the Kansas City bullpen. Aroldis Chapman, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Coleman, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. That misses, and the count's full. Willie McCovey waiting for a turn at the plate. Two hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Two on, one out. Willie McCovey, the next to hit. Here's a one one. Late with the swing there. The one two. Ground ball left side and foul ball. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam.
Grounder might be two. Feed to second, that's one. On to O'Neal for the inning-ending double play. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam, and they end the inning. Back here in San Francisco. And now here is George Brett. The pitch. Swings through that one. The one, two. And there's a ball. Next one off the plate inside. And the count's full. Martin Digo in the on-deck circle. The pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Crawford calls it in. And there's one away. Here's Digo. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. And a pitch. Check swing. No appeal. And the count is three and one. Foul ball there. Right-handed reliever. Swings, throw it in, that's a strikeout. And now the catcher comes up to him. Salvador Perez, the outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. And two now. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Royals go down one, two, three. So no change in the score. It's three, three. Dylan Coleman gets the call from the pen. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. So now the DH spot, Orlando Cepeda. A strikeout and a walk. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a count one and two. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Here's a one-two. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Makes the catch. One away. Now that second baseman. Now it's the second Tyro. baseman, Tyro Estrada. Estrada. And that's ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to, he's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. And digging in for San Francisco, J.D. Davis. The pitch. Way inside, gets out of the way. One away. 
tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. And a 2 1 hammered, but foul. Swing and he breaks his bat. Tosses to first, and he's out. Well, that actually works out for the hitter. No if it's not a broken bat, it's hit hard enough for a double play. But with the slower roller, defense does a nice job at least getting one out of it. And that'll bring up Brandon Crawford. A chance for more damage right here. A couple of RBIs for him in his last A-B. And it is 2-1. And one in scoring position. Swings and misses. And that's strike two. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. Tried to check his swing. Appeal to third. No swing. Just held it back there. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Three, two. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. So first and second with two outs. Blake Sable, the next giant to hit. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Swing and a miss, and he got him. They miss a big chance to take the lead here late. Giants leave a couple, still tied, three and three. We go to the ninth, stepping in, M.J. Melendez. Left-hand hitter waits. And a count, one and two. Left-hand batter waits. And it's even up. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Bobby Witt Jr. getting ready to hit. Ball to strike. And that's downstairs and outside. Two balls, one strike. And there's the strike. He's gotten into a really good rhythm. Set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Okay. And it's filled up. Michael Massey waits on deck. Swings and misses. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Michael Massey now, steps in for the Royals. Michael The kick, the 3 2. In the air, left field. Fair ball. Now he'll turn for second, and that rolls into the corner. In with a double, and the go ahead runs at second with two out. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Had a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. Man in scored position with two away. And next up for the Royals, Drew Waters. Man on second, two down. So now two on and two outs. 
So the batting order turns over. Buck O'Neill digs in now. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. And the pitch. That's a strike. So the Lord are frustrated with the strike zone. And that's outside. And it's to a two. And he deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Massey at second, Waters at first, two out of the inning. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. The 2-2. Two -two. And a good eye there. That's a really good take. Alex Gordon on deck for the Royals. The pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Kicks and fires. On the ground to third. Rolls across the diamond. That ends the frame. No runs, a hit, two left. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, two up. All tied up at three apiece. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Taylor Clark. This is his fifth appearance of the year. Your attention, please. Now, pitching for Kansas City, number 45, Taylor Clark. Back to the top of the lineup. Hank Thompson digging in now. The right field. Hank Thompson. Three one is on the way. Bounced up the middle. Lays out. He's got it. Fires to first. And it's in time. Wow. What a play on both ends for the out. Irving. Monty Irvin, the next giant to hit. The 1-1. One -one. And a big swing and a miss. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Next offering is foul back. The wind of the pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Massey. In plenty of time to first. And that quickly, two away. First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that ball. But then even more impressive was the throw. Off balance. Had to try to end the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. Mays connects and sends it deep left field to the warning track makes the catch the left hander on now Taylor Rogers now, bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move hey, right here, so we'll see how it works out. Roger. Alex Gordon steps in for the Royals. 
Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Here's the third baseman, George Brett. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the force at second first, perhaps getting any ending double play. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Willie Mays makes the play. Two down. Now that's the designated hitter, Martin Vigo. Martin Digo will hit next. This guy with light tower power. So he came up clutch earlier in this ball game and really just needs to take the same approach. Think hard right back up the middle. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. That one not close. Two balls, two strikes. All tied up and here in extra innings. Good eye right there. Salvador Perez, the kind of bat that can make a big impact if they can keep it going here. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. He'll score easily. It's 4-3. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Two outs. Runner on first. Next is the Royals catcher, Salvador Perez. The 1-1. One, one. Runner on the go. Pitch in the dirt. Throw to second and great jump. Next offering is down low. And that's ball three. MJ Melendez up next. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. At the belt and fires. In the air, left side. Irvin moving under this one. Makes the play, and it's out number three. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. New pitcher on here, Scott Barlow. A chance at his first Your save Lord of the Lord. year. Now pitching for the Royals. Number 58, Scott Garland. Well, one run game. Now the Giants four hitter, Willie McCovey. In a spot like this, are you up there thinking to yourself, I'm trying to end the game? Absolutely. It's been a long one. You're hungry, and you're ready to go home. So now with one swing, this guy can end it. Bullpen activity starting up now. Aroldis Chapman preparing to come on if needed. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. And that one missing low, and that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Righty to the plate. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. 
No, I definitely say that's a statement strikeout right there. You come out of the bullpen, go right after the hitters, and three pitches later, you got one out. I'll tell you what, if you're in the dugout, you're looking at each other and saying, he's going to be tough to get to today. And now, Orlando Cepeda. And here it comes. And a count one and two. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. Tosses to first. Now only one out remaining. Now battle. Here's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada, trying to deliver as the hero. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. Runner at second, two down. Hard on the ground to first. Steps on the bag himself, ball game. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy. 4-3, our final score. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Kansas City Royals. Four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Giants, three runs on eight hits, one error. They left 12 men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 58 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we and remind you to please, please drive home, home safely. safely.